In today's video, let's talk about taupe. What do I mean when I say a color is taupey? Can a paint color have a taupe undertone? All these questions are about one of my favorite types of colors to use, taupe. Like the video, now let's get into it. If you know a little bit about paint colors or color in general, you may have heard of the word taupe and perhaps wondered what it truly meant or represented. Traditionally, it's a color that's derived from the French word for mole. And the thing about moles is they tend to burrow and dig into the ground, which is an interesting coincidence because taupe as a color tends to be quite earthy in its combination of gray and brown. So that's really what taupe is at the end of the day. Gray and brown kind of mixed into one color. So in a way, you could also label taupe as ground, grown. It's the grayish for grown-ups. Taupe tends to be a pretty recognizable color type because of its slightly toned neutral quality that combines brown, but is softened in its overall saturation with gray. Whenever you add gray to a color hue, that color becomes a tone of a color, which does give it a slightly dusty appearance. And this means it may lack a bit of color specificity compared to a more brighter dynamic counterpart, but it tends to open itself up to more design choices traditionally, especially nowadays. There are several reasons that colors that contain gray have become so popular because they tend to be easier to work with, generally speaking, or at least offer a great starting point for a lot of designs. The most popular neutral in the last decade or so hasn't even been taupe, it's been grayish, which is gray and beige mixed together. And a lot of people will often mix these two up. And honestly, there's a pretty easy explanation why. That's because there is absolutely so much overlap with taupe and grayish. Just remember, at their core, you have one that is a mix of gray and beige, which is also likely to be lighter in general, and the other, which is taupe, that's more of a mix of brown and gray. So those are often gonna be darker colors, generally speaking. Within paint, we determine how light or darker color is based on its light reflectance value, which is a number that's between zero and 100. I talk about it a lot. And usually taupe can be found in colors that are pretty dark. That's typically what I think of when I hear about the word taupe. I'm usually picturing a color with an LRV maybe around 30 or so, which is fairly dark. But there's also a case to be made that taupe can pretty much be any color that is dominated by gray and brown. This is where the term taupey comes into play. So whenever a color is described as having a taupe quality, you can just think of it as a color that has a bit of brown and gray somewhere in it. This means it could even be an off-white that is gray, but maybe not in abundance of cream or beige. Maybe its warmth is more orange or red leaning rather than yellow. And that would give it a quality that is slightly more akin to a taupe rather than a warm gray or a grayish. So technically, you could say that this color here could be deemed as an off-white, a light earthy gray, or even a really light taupe. Now to my color purists out there yelling at me saying, taupe can't be light. My statement to you would be, taupe can be light the same way that red can. In the English language, you'll never really hear someone say, oh, that wall looks like a nice light red. Not because light red as a color doesn't exist, but because we simply just call that color pink. Taupe functions in the same way, where there is the stereotypical taupe color that many of us picture, but there's also a whole lot of color surrounding it. Whether you wanna go with a taupe that's a little more green leaning, lighter, darker, maybe a bit of purple, but any paint color that has a taupe quality is going to feel grounded generally. And one with the earth, because somewhere in its coloration, you do have that gray and brown, the colors of stone and soil. So consider using taupe in your color palettes because you probably have elements of it in your home already and you just haven't noticed it. I recently talked about a really cool taupey color on our Instagram page, if you haven't checked that out yet. It's a color with a lot going for it that I really, really enjoy. And I'll leave a link to our Instagram down below for you to check it out. See you later.